I grew up in a Catholic family and I was touched especially by the faith of my grandparents. When I was young, we used to go to Mass every Sunday. But when I got to probably around maybe eight, uh, the family did sort of move away from the faith. I still went through all Catholic schools, but uh, regular Sunday Mass wasn't part of our program. We weren't a particularly religious family, um, but I knew that faith in God was very important to my parents. My parents were both non-practicing. My mother was a Catholic, so but my father was Anglican, all of his family were Anglicans. And um, so while we didn't really receive uh, the example of practice of the faith, except my mother did take us to Midnight Mass at Christmas, which we loved, you know, it was such an experience. My parents actually enrolled my sister and I in children's liturgy when we were really young. So um, we followed through with that until about when we were teenagers. And we actually have a youth group in, in our parish that's pretty active. And my sister got involved with that first. And she left for Sydney, and then it was my turn. A particular memory is First Communion. And often people talk about this, I've noticed. Um, and that is just that moment and preparing for that. I think I was prepared very well somehow that there was a sense of intimacy with God. Um, the example of my godmother when I was young um, was quite important for me. She's a very devout, very prayerful woman um, who really encouraged me to pray. I think maybe sometimes people think that faith drops out of the sky somehow. Um, I needed my parents to show example by their own lives and by their attitudes more than anything else that uh, God was important to them, that faith was what sustained them and gave them purposefulness, direction in life. The big moment for me was World Youth Day in Sydney, 2008. Um, I'm one of those people who had a conversion uh, or a reversion, however you want to call it. Um, and I, I discovered the truth and the beauty of the Catholic faith and the person of Jesus Christ. And it really it does go back to very early childhood and having, I suppose, the opportunity in a family situation to, to pray and to be able to talk about these things. I think that to live with that faith is to live with that hope. There's a story of a man who was in prison and when he looked out the window, or two people that were in prison, when they looked out of the window, one looked up at the sky and saw beauty and the other one looked down at the ground and that's all they could see. So it's I suppose where you where you have your focus. And I think it's important to have those teachings from the faith that really um, create that solid foundation. So and then you develop your own ethics after that. So uh, yeah definitely I think so. Um, I guess everything that's in our face all the time in the media and just the lifestyle that's generally accepted um, isn't one that always agrees with the faith. I think people are very um, standoffish about the church and standoffish about willing to identify themselves, you know, of faith, but very intrigued by it and, you know, I think everyone Everyone to some degree, you know, wants to have faith in something or wants to believe in something or, you know, wants to hold something true. Even in the midst of an affluent, um, relativistic, postmodern culture, uh, there are still signs that young people are contemplating those deeper questions, uh, searching for spiritual answers or answers of justice to those questions that sometimes our culture, our mark capitalistic kind of culture doesn't want to encourage. I really believe my faith is, allows me to actually go on. You know, I, I do believe that life is good. I believe that uh, Jesus rose from the dead and therefore death doesn't determine us, that sin isn't the last word, that there is forgiveness. All these things that, you know, seem so basic, but they are the, the centre of all relationships, you know, that... Yeah, the challenge there is to move deeper 
because um, if it doesn't move deeper, it'll, it'll just be left aside. The childhood notions of faith no longer make sense. It has to, or faith always has to be going deeper and moving on, otherwise it becomes stale and left aside, no longer relevant to our lives. G'day, my name is Jack. My name is Jerome Santa Maria. Hi, I'm Miranda. Hi, I'm Michael Buck. I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Leanne. I'm Marisha. And I believe. And I believe. And I believe. I believe. And I believe. And I believe. You can walk away now. <laughs>